hi welcome to the market outlook so currently today we'll be looking at cciv so cciv is essentially a spec that's expected to merge with lucid which is an electric car company and right now the tanker analysis shows a possible bullish setup so diving at the daily time frame you can see that prices has dropped from all-time high of 65 dollars back in february this year consolidated and dropped all the way down to the $20 range for about four or five months. And right now it's currently broken above the 50 EMA and as well as the previous resistance. So breaking down the chart, we look at the folly time frame, and we can see that in previous episodes, the price action did not stay above the 50 EMA for very long. And Prices were instead pushed back all the way down and even breaking through a very strong support levels, as you can see over here. Okay, so what is currently happening now is that we can see, if we zoom in a bit further, you can see that price action bounced off the 50 EMA, broke through resistance, now form support, and then a small retest, and then we are seeing a bit of bullish yet to be closed for the candle here so what i'm looking at right now is entering into a short term call option short term i mean by at least having uh well i'll say 60 days to expiration as we don't want to be paying high theta so if the trade does not work out if the price action comes below the support again we exit the trade if there's bearish price action we exit the trade as well so Looking at this, I will be eyeing a strike of $25. I like to have a strike that's about 10% out of the current market price. And then I'll be targeting a price action all the way to $28. So let me show the arrow here. Targeting $28. A strong previous resistance here. So looking to target this range 26.74 to about 28 dollars and i'll keep you updated as well so currently this is cciv i'll pop up the trade at the side and what we want to look at right now is also s p 500 so if you look at s p 500 i've currently mapped out the support the demand zone over here you can see that price action is really respecting this demand zone and as we retest this demand zone we can see that there is higher lows being formed as well. but that's a good bullish sign but i like to highlight if you look at the folly time frame you can see there's slight divergence forming so cash should be taken when placing trades in the next few days or in today we want really good quality setup so that you have higher chance of succeeding. So you can see higher highs being formed here and you can see lower highs being formed. So this divergence, this RSI and price action really shows bearish momentum that's coming in. So we do have to take note of it. Other than that, S&P 500 really is looking good. Um, the support's working well. We just need to break through the divergence line and to retest the previous high. So if you felt that this video gave you some ideas, trade setups, or insights, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment the video. Thank you, and take care, and see you in the next episode. Cheers, bye!